Hello and welcome to a new lesson meaning nature definition universality of communication literal meaning of communication the word communication originates from two latin words the first one is communis and the second one is communicare and both of them refer to the meaning of common or share or impart or participate or exchange these are some of the meanings they come from these two words some of the meanings we can derive from the word communication so what we get is that communication is basically communality of communication sharing of communication imparting of communication participating in communication exchanging ideas and we can see in this picture how the two persons sitting sharing the information we continue our discussion nature of communication thus communication refers to an exchange of ideas messages and information between two or more persons to attain mutual understanding and we can see in the picture how communication is taking place in an office in which there are not only two persons but more than two persons involved and what is most important in the element of communication is that we must attain mutual understanding common understanding only then communication can be successful we continue our discussion now we have universality of communication can we live without communication is it possible for humans not to communicate of course not every one of us on this earth communicates thus communication is a universal phenomenon a universal entity it is the most important survival mechanism for humans after food and you can see in the picture how people after having tea and all that they are engaged in communication with one another we continue our discussion now we have definitions of communication given by renowned authors writers personalities the first one is i a richards he defines communication is the exchange of meanings between individuals through a common system of symbols according to i a richards we must have a common system of symbols through which we can exchange our meaningful ideas now we have thodson and thodson the transmission of information ideas attitudes or emotion from one person or group to another or others primarily through symbols here yes, symbols refers to through language in the same language we continue the oxford dictionary defines communication as the imparting or exchange of information by speaking or writing or using some other medium so these are some of the most important definitions of renowned authors now let's see here so how two individuals are engaged in exchange of meanings then we have how transmission of information i go from one person to a group of persons and here you can see how ideas are being imparted either through a speaking writing depending upon the medium you choose we continue our discussion now we have review of lesson literal meaning of communication the word communication originates from the latin words communis or communicare which mean common or to share impart participate and exchange and you can see this through the picture how sharing of information is being imparted through two persons sitting together we continue review of lesson nature of communication thus communication refers to an exchange of ideas messages and information between two or more persons to attain common understanding and you can have this feeling through this picture now we have review of lesson communication as a universal phenomenon can we live without communication is it possible for humans not to communicate of course not every one of us on this earth communicates thus communication is a universal phenomenon it is the most important survival mechanism for humans and you can see to have the feeling of this in my next lesson i will talk about aims of communication functions of communication process of communication and classification of course please stay tuned hope you understand the concept thank you and goodbye